Okay, so I'm going to be showing you how to put the CG50 PRISM calculator into exam mode. Um, I have to do it on an actual calculator, not just with the emulator. So what I've got on the emulator is the steps. Um, you'll see them again on the calculator too, but the steps and then I'm doing it on the actual calculator because the emulator can't get put into exam mode since it's an emulator and you tend to not put those into exam mode because those are for the teacher. So basically the steps are you need to arrow down to the menu that item that says link. So I've got that on my calculator here and I'm going to hit execute and let me just go back here. So here's your screen where you've got several functions. So unlocking examination mode. So once you put a calculator in, you would come back to this to unlock it. Um, enter tells you how to do it. Application help, exit help. So we're in exam mode ready to get going. So we're going to hit F2 so that we can see our help here. And this is on the emulator so you can see it. So basically it's three steps. I have to first turn the calculator off. Um, and then I have to press three buttons at once, the cosine 7 and AC all at once, and that basically is telling the computer, okay, I mean the computer, the um, calculator that we're going into exam mode, and the final step is to press the functions, because it's going to ask some questions, are you sure you want to do this? Because once you are in exam mode, you're going to have limited um, use of some functions. Again, that's the whole point of exam mode. So let's do the first step. It says let's turn it off. So we're going to, I'm trying to do this so you guys can see me. It's a little hard. I'm holding my camera, and I'm trying to do the button. So I'm going to do shift and off. So it's going to turn off the calculator. Then it wants me to hit three buttons at once. So I need to hit the cosine 7 and the AC. So I'm going to do that with three of my, two of my fingers, three of my fingers here. Oops, I timed myself out. Let's try that again. Shift, off, and then these three buttons. All right, so here's my first question. Do you want to enter exam mode? And the answer is yes. So I'm going to hit F1. And how do I exit it? Do I need to do a link apt? And so I'm going to hit F2 to continue and it's entering into exam mode so I'm going to say exit and so now I am in exam mode and now the neat thing about exam mode and I don't know if I can get in here close enough for you guys to see this but I know I'm in exam mode because see there's a blinking R up here that says I am in exam mode and my screen has this green highlight around it. So as a teacher you know your students are in exam mode if this green light is around their screens. And so what that means is programs are, you can't go into these programs at the uh, end. So let's just try to go into say picture plot. I can't do it, I'm in exam mode. Um, let's go into geometry. I can't do it. I'm in exam mode. So there's certain menus that are cut off because of exam mode, things that are not allowed on most tests. So now I'm in exam mode and it will stay. That What I love about this is that it will stay in exam mode and will turn off in 12 hours automatically so you don't have to worry about resetting or if you're done and you want to start using your calculator, you can do it yourself. Basically what you're going to do is go back into the link. So we're going to do this on the emulator just so we don't uh, mess up here so we can see. And you're going to go to exit. So this time you want to get out of examination mode. So if you want to do it before the 12 hours is up, what I love is that it's a 12 hour limit and 12 hours, boom, the calculator's back to its normal thing. So that's usually about how you want things to do. Kids have taken a test on one day, when they come back the next day, boom, done. Exam mode's over, so you don't have to really do anything. But let's say you wanted to, there are some steps. So you do need a, a, a pin, there's one way, so you can collect to a calculator that's not in exam mode and go through these steps. Um, so you're going to do the link app and exit, those types of things. Or you can actually do it through your computer as well. Um, I'm just going to keep scrolling down here to show you that there are other steps. So you can do it with the USB cable, connect to the PC, um, and hit the calculator and send files to the memory, that type of thing. But the beauty is you don't have to do anything. Uh, you can just wait 12 hours and then, and there's that's where it says right there it expires in 12 hours and you're done. There's nothing else you need to do. So that to me is the the best step. Um, you wait 12 hours, boom, examination is, is done. And remember, you can tell you're in exam mode because it will have a green highlight around the screen telling you're in exam mode.